Hey everybody, it's Joys of Sorrow. So, I'm still working on a few videos, two of them being knife reviews, uh, both being for the cookeries that I ordered on Amazon. I'm almost done with the three chair cookie, cookie video. Um, I've just been looking for bigger uh, dead limbs of trees to chop to for footage, and that's it. It's pretty much almost done. Uh, aside from that, I still need to work on footage for the small kukri. And well, pretty much since uh, I was doing knife reviews already and I came across a good deal on Amazon after hearing so many good things about uh, this, uh, I bought another uh, knife. <laughs> so this is the Cold Steel Tanto Light. Now the light series from Cold Steel is a series of knives that are made in Taiwan. The beauty of them is how cheap they, uh, they are price-wise and the quality of the metal which is 4116 German stainless steel which is a popular stainless steel to use in cutlery and in the medical field. So let me just go ahead and uh, cut this open with my everyday carry uh, Smith & Wesson uh, Border Guard 6th gen uh, generation. And open this up. This is it. No instructions, no paperwork, just box, knife, plastic bag for knife. Okay? Let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay, uh, something's already different here. When I've seen, uh, sorry, when I saw reviews of this knife on YouTube, one of the biggest negatives was the cheap sheath that came with it. And it was supposed to be a, a, a nylon style kind of sheath. And it looks like they've changed that, at least on this one here. Uh, can't really tell when it was made. I mean, the box design is not the old standard light blue uh, cold steel design of things. But this is a uh, hard plastic now with cold steel on it. And at the bottom, it even has a drain hole. So if you fall somewhere uh, with water and you, you have this in your belt clip uh, clipped on, uh, the water will just go through and not stick too much to your blade to help prevent rusting. Uh, the sheath does look like it's uh, glued together because there are seams right down the middle. But uh, seems to hold it, it holds the knife pretty tight. Um, it has a clip here. I heard the other one was supposed to have again because it was a cloth, a nylon clothish uh, sheath. It's supposed to have just a loop. This one actually has a clip. And if you look here on the top, there's a little hole pattern thing in there that you normally see on things like phones or any appliance that's supposed to be hanging up on the wall. So that's cool. So you could just hang this up somewhere uh, near you or, you know, away from the kids or anything like that. <laughs> All right. Let's actually look at the knife. Oh, well, that took a little effort to get out. That's good. It means it's solidly secure in there. So this knife is about six inches. The handle is another, I think, five and a half, if I remember correctly. So it's 11 and a half inches overall. Now the blade again is made out of 4116 German stainless steel. Now on the website for cold steel and on the box, it says a uh, cryo quenched German 4116 stainless. I don't know what, I don't, well, I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm assuming it's a, it's a, quenching process of sort for knives um, but again I've heard a lot of good reviews about this knife the thickness of the blade it looks like maybe two and a half three uh, millimeters thick it is very sharp that is one thing that I like about cold steel knives regardless of how you feel about the quality of the knife it comes sharp straight from the factory um, very very basic knife no, no, nothing fancy nice beautiful pointy sharp tanto tip um, 
very simple basic edge and the handle even is very basic um, it's two materials it's not one material F from what I understand the way these are built is these are full tang uh, construction so the actual metal will go all the way down to the bottom here and um, there is a uh, polypropylene handle molded to the tang and then this part here that this, where you see these little bumps and whatnot is supposed to be a material called craton or, or crate craton or something like that um, but it does have a strong grip you don't I mean you could just grip it lightly and it's there it's not gonna go anywhere you don't need gloves um, you have a little bit of a guard right here you know so that your knife doesn't your fingers don't ride forward uh, but you don't have nothing at the top here and that's a little bit concerning um, again I just got the knife very lightweight even with the sheath uh, way less than a pound I'd say maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.7 ounces overall. So it's pretty good to know. Um, besides that, what other positives can I talk about? Oh, well, again, $19.99 on Amazon.com. That's really cheap, really affordable. Uh, from what I understand, this metal uh, has very great anti-rust properties so this can make a very great knife for fishing it could be a great knife uh, as a affordable camping knife now if you're going to use this as a camping knife or as a survival knife uh, I would not make this the only bladed tool uh, that you carry in your arsenal if because for example the kukri when you guys see the uh, video of the three chirakukri you'll understand what I mean but this knife here is I mean it's it I think it's pretty good quality I mean I it'll definitely work for very small tasks it'll definitely work for food processing um, it could definitely work for skinning although uh, many people would say this is probably too big to be a skinning knife um, you know, uh, I see a lot of good uses for this fighting knife. Uh, if you're really in the need for a fighting knife, this could make a great fighting knife just because of how light and, you know, but still sturdy it is. And again, the grip, it has a very, very good grip on it. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's something that I could just hold it and it feels like I have a good hold of it, no matter how light of a grip I have on it. So I do like that a lot. Um, gripping a knife, the, the way you grip a knife is important. Um, so this is another knife that I'm going to have to put through its paces and test out. Um, I am looking forward to it. Now again, it's not a powerhouse knife like the like the big Kukri, um, but if you were looking for something basic, something affordable something that you can take out with you that hey you know um i can use it as a camping you know as a camping blade uh now again you'll still have to have things like a hatchet or a folding saw uh to do things like bigger woodwork or anything like that but again food processing skinning other things that you could do at the camp now this, this should be able to do it no problem help you know you know striking it on a ferris rod to start a fire um but this is uh, pretty impressive for the price. Very, very impressive. And I worked in selling knives for, you know, almost half a decade. And for 20 bucks, this this seems like a bargain. I think I'm going to have fun, uh, a lot of fun with this. Um, this video will probably take some time before it comes out because of the other ones I have ahead of it. Um, but in all honesty... Uh, this is something I can honestly write off just here with this video and say uh, if you need a knife that's affordable that's gonna work uh, that's very uh, you know trustworthy brand go with the cold steel uh, Tanto light series now the Tanto uh, light is not the only one in the light series 
you can go uh, with it's called the outdoorsman and they have about four to six other blades now in that light series um, Cold Steel also makes other knives using the 4116 German stainless steel um, but as far as the Tanto series of their knives goes the, this is the most affordable the most affordable I think the one that would come after this in affordability would be um, shoot uh, not the recon one um, but there's another Tanto out there it goes for about 40 bucks and it has a much nicer sheath blades a little bit wider um, handles a little bit wider uh, and the blades slightly longer um, but also a great knife uh, but again guys you guys looking for something nice and affordable cold steel uh, light series of knives this is the cold steel light tanto 19.99 on amazon.com uh, again if you guys want to see a little more details on it there are plenty of videos on this knife anyone particularly that I would recommend watching their videos on on, on this knife series net and fancy n-u-t-n-f-a-n-c-y uh, the guy does amazing reviews on anything survival gear anything knife anything gun related the only catch with nothing fancy is you better have at least half hour to an hour and 20 minutes to sit down and watch this full video because he goes through a lot of details and points but he tries and tests his knives and other products vigorously that i can assure you so thanks for watching everybody if you guys like this video please hit the like button and subscribe uh, definitely subscribe and hit the notification icon just so you make sure that when this video for this knife does come out you guys do know about it and so that you're updated for the next three cheer and uh, uh, knife video coming up soon and the other kukri knife video have a good day guys thank you for watching